Niggas in the nose. Niggas in a motherfucking nose. And the first nigga in the nose is Dion motherfucking Sanders, man. The first real nigga head coach. The first real nigga head coach. I made this statement. And um, I posted a clip saying, is this the first real nigga real? Is this the first real nigga real coach? Um, first real nigga head coach? You know what I'm saying? And some people got mad. Some niggas got mad. They was like, how dare you say, is that the first real nigga head coach? How dare you say that? How dare you put that title? Listen, man, I mean that title with all the love in the world, man. I'm, I'm, I'm filled with pride and admiration. You know what I'm saying? The first real nigga head coach, period. Now I heard some motherfuckers say, boss, man, the first real nigga head coach is John Thompson at Georgetown. He said the first real nigga head coach is John Thompson at Georgetown. Look what he did with Patrick Ewing and whoop de wop de wham No, no. The first real nigga head coach is Deion Sanders. Why is it Deion Sanders, boss, Mac? Why you feel like that? I don't, hey, this nigga had Lil Wayne at the pep rally. You understand me? He bringing famous rappers to the campus to hype up the people. You understand me? He wearing big gold chain on the sideline with diamond piece. You understand me? He represent, he's staying crispy, crispy at all times at practice. If you look at that 60 Minutes interview, if you look at the first, if you look at that 60 Minutes interview, one of the first things he said is, I'm stay crispy. I'm super crispy. When I walk in the room, I'm the type of motherfucker to make motherfuckers look at they self. And wonder how is they clean enough? If they clean as Dion, Dion said, "I make motherfuckers look at they self and wonder, am I as clean as Dion right now?" You know what I'm saying? The head coach. This got by me, man. I gotta revisit this one more again. I got, I got, I gotta really address this right here. I'm a football motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? This got by me. I I I didn't tap in. You know what I'm saying? I didn't tap in. Dion is changing reality out here, man. This is reality changing. This is reality changing. You know what I'm saying? If I'm a president. If I'm a president of a of a college with a persistently shitty program, I gotta look at I I need a list of all the real nigga coaches, man. I need my people to go out and give me a list of all the real nigga coaches who is respected out here amongst the real nigga coaches, man. Because you seeing the manifestation of the real nigga coach. Niggas crashing through the walls for Dion. You understand me? And listen, you know, I got a few points I gotta I gotta tap into that I didn't tap into in my last discussion. Hey, I didn't think about this shit. I had no thought that when he went to Colorado, he would immediately be in the hunt for a national championship on some shit. To be okay, and and then let's tap in. I had to re I had to rebrush myself up on the football. You know what I'm saying? So they in the Pac-12. The Pac-12 is gangster. So next week they got Oregon. If they see Oregon, who is number 10, if they see Oregon, then they got USC. USC. If they see Oregon and USC, they might be damn near number one. And then they got and then they got Washington, Washington State, and Utah. See, I had to look closely at they shit. If they run the table. 
if they run the table, it's possible. And Dion's son could be up for the fucking Heisman, for real, on some valid shit. And this game that just passed, man, this game that just passed, man, hey, I tried to bet. I tried to gamble, man. I tried to gamble. I tried to, I tried to gamble, man. I tried to gamble. In the in the in the spirits. In the 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 spirits to be, you know, the the my A. Hey, my protection in the in the ethers, you understand me? Stop me from betting, right? I'm telling you, man, I was trying to bet heavy. I was trying to go big. I, was, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I was trying to go big. But it wouldn't take my money from my credit cards. None of them. From my, my debit, none of that. I don't know what the fuck. It was, just re, re, it was just rejecting my shit. So I was like, that's a sign. After I tried like three times, I was like, that's a sign. Don't bet. Right? I was going to take um, Colorado to cover, but I should have knew. Right? Nigga. Nigga, that game, nigga. That game show, nigga, for them to get down. Nigga, the resilience. The, nigga, that's the nigga test. They done already had early tests and bounce back. They done already had early tests and bounce back. If they see Oregon and USC, man, they're going to be damn near number one. If they run the table, if they run the table. But see, the thing is, after they be, if they beat Oregon and USC, every game that they play is going to be like national championship level game to whoever they playing, even the – even Stanford, like when they play Stanford, it's gonna be like the national championship for Stanford type shit. Shout out to Dion, man. This is unprecedented. First real nigga head coach, man. First real nigga head coach with his son playing quarterback. With his son playing quarterback and 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 dominating. And then his other son just picked some shit off like he did and run some shit back in the clutch when they need it. Man. You got to pray for Dion, bro. This is unprecedented, man. This is unprecedented, man. This is unprecedented. And then in that 60 minutes, in that 60 minutes, in that 60 minutes interview, He gave up hella homage to Nick Saban. He gave up hella homage to Nick Saban. You know what I'm talking about? To me, that's a tactic. That's a tactic right there. That's see him, him giving homage to Nick Saban. See, he automatically saying, "I'm on your ass, Nick Saban." You know what I'm saying? From the gate, as soon as I step in here, I'm on Nick Saban ass. Shout out to Dion, man. I just had to speak on that first real nigga head coaching. Man, nigga gonna have to. Nigga can't even. If they keep going, nigga, I was, man, I ain't gonna lie, man. I started thinking about, man, a nigga need to. Damn. I was checking the schedule. I was hoping that Colorado game was. Uh, I was hoping that Colorado. Let me see. I was hoping that Colorado game was out here, man. When they play USC, man. Let me see Colorado football schedule. Shit, man. At Colorado. Damn. That shit gonna be lit right there. Get the lights up for the boss, Mac. All right, let me keep it going, man. Let me keep it going, man. Let me keep it going, man. Shout out to the chat. Who in there? Outside sound. 
What's up with it, man? What's happening, man? All right, let me see. Let me see right quick. 